Hey, Tony here. Today I'm going to go over all the films that I watched in the month of December, so stick around. So today I wanted to go over all of the movies that I was able to watch during the month of December. So if you'd like to follow along, I'm going to be following along with my Letterboxd app. I do have it linked down below. Um, but I was able to see a movie every single day during the month of December. Some days I actually got to see more than one movie. I got to go to the theater quite a few times during the month of December because I was off from work for the holidays. So a lot of good movies to talk about and then some not so good movies to talk about. So first up, on the first day I watched Ransom. This right here was a first time watch for me. Um, I thought it was going to be a lot better than what it was. It was really dull. Nothing really much happened in this one. Um, Sean Connery did good for what he had. But overall this was a very dull movie and I would not recommend it. I gave it one star on Letterboxd. Okay, the next day on the second, I watched Mean Streets. I really enjoyed this one. I, this right here was another first time watch. I had never seen this uh, Martin Scorsese movie. Um, I did get the 4K release from Criterion and watched it. I really enjoyed this one. I highly recommend you check that one out. Okay, on the third day, I watched The Age of Innocence. Now, The Age of Innocence is another first time watch. I did get the Criterion um, title. So I watched this one. Um, this one I actually really enjoyed. Um, I gave it three stars and a heart. Um, I believe this one has Michelle Pfeiffer in it and Daniel Day-Lewis and Winona Ryder. Really good story. It is a little slower paced, but um, I really enjoyed. I really enjoyed it. Um, on day four, I watched The Last Picture Show. This was another first time watch. As you can tell, I'm watching a lot of Criterion, or I was watching a lot of Criterion at the beginning of December, trying to finish out all my purchases that I purchased back in November. I really enjoyed The Last Picture Show. I had never seen it before. Great film. Um, one of my favorites. I gave it three, three and a half stars and a, and a like. <clears throat> On the fifth day, I watched Texasville, which is the sequel. Um, this... Texas film came out in 1990. I thought it was going to be just as good as the last picture show, but it was not for me. I didn't really enjoy it. It did not live up to the first movie, unfortunately. So I gave it one and a half stars. I still liked it for what it was, and I liked the fact that it continued the story. Um, but other than that, it wasn't as good as the first one. Okay, on day six... I watched another Criterion. I watched Only Angels Have Wings. I gave this one and a half stars. It was it was good overall. It's got Cary Grant in it, but I don't know. It wasn't as good as I wanted it to be. I probably will need to revisit this one. Like I said, I gave it one and a half stars. I didn't like it, um, but this may need, this may be one of those that just needs another rewatch. Okay, on the 7th day of December, I watched Assault on Precinct 13. I watched the 2005 version. I really enjoyed this one. Um, I watched the remake before I watched the original. Um, so I really enjoyed the remake. I gave it two and a half stars and a heart. Um, it wasn't... I mean, it was a good story. It was fun to watch, but it wasn't a masterpiece. That's the reason why I didn't give it any higher than two and a half stars. Um, but the next day, on the 8th, I watched the original John Carpenter film. I saw it on Precinct 13. And this one, I just did not like at all. I gave it two stars because of what it was. But I didn't like it as much as I liked the remake, which is a bad thing. To me, you, I would think that you would always want to like the original better than the remake. But for me, this one right here did not live up to the remake, unfortunately. Okay, on day nine, I watched Vengeance. I really enjoyed this movie. Um, I had never seen this one before. I watched it. It had been in the watch pile for a while. Um, I gave this one two and a half stars and a like. Great story, great performances. Overall, I really enjoyed it. I would highly recommend you check that one out. Okay, on the 10th, I watched The Snowman. Um, another first time watch. Really beautiful um, scenery. The story was okay. It was a little bit slow. Um, the first half was slow. The second half was amazing. I gave it two and a half stars and a heart. I really enjoyed this one. Highly recommend you check it out. Just 
You just have to make your way through the first half of the movie. Then the second half is really good. Okay, on the 11th day of December, I watched Office Christmas Party. I did pre I purchased the 4K release, so I thought oh, I'm going to check it out. It was a funny, uh, it was a fun enough movie. I'm not a big fan of raunchy comedies, uh, so this one I gave one star. I did not give it a hard. I didn't really care much for it. For a one-time watch, it was fun, but I don't think I'm going to revisit this one anytime soon. Okay, on the 12th day of December. I watched I Kill Giants. This right here was a really good story. This right here took a while to get into though, um, but overall, this is one of those where the first half is kind of slow, the second half got really good. I gave this one two and a half stars and a heart. I really enjoyed it overall. If you've never seen this film, definitely check it out. Okay, the next film that I watched was Hunter Hunter. Um, this right here is a Screen Factory release um, from see what is this IFC and um, it was one of those slow movies it, it was one of those slow stories for the first probably for the first third of the movie and then the last part of the movie was amazing um, it takes you a long time to get to the point to where it really gets good um, but after seeing the ending you know the whole movie as a whole was worth it um, I gave that one two and a half stars and a heart Definitely check out Hunter Hunter if you've never seen it. The next film that I watched was Radio Flash. Um, another first time watch. This movie was really dull. Um, it, it had a story. It had a mission. But the way it got there was just terrible. I didn't like it. The acting was very poor. The story was weak. I gave this one one and a half stars. And I did not give it a heart. I didn't care for it. Now that one got one and a half stars. This one got a half of a half of a star. This movie was terrible. Um, this movie is called Stardust. It, it is based off of David Bowie, and it was it's called David Before Bowie. It was so dull. Oh man, it was terrible. I I don't recommend anybody check that one out. If you've seen it, I apologize. If you liked it, I apologize. I did not care for it. Okay, on day 16, I watched Leatherface. So I got the Leatherface, um, what are these things called? They're not steel books, they're metal packs. So I got this one, I ordered it, and we'll watch the movie. Um, this one I gave one and a half stars and a heart. I liked the film for what it was, but the acting was terrible. The story was interesting, it was nice to see another... Um, Leatherface type story. I had never seen this one before um, and I enjoyed it for the most part. Beautiful looking metal pack though. Okay, on day 17 I watched Rio Bravo which is a western with John Wayne, um, Dean Martin, and Ricky Nelson. I had never seen this one before. I bought the still book and I gave this one two stars and a heart. So as far as westerns are concerned, this right here was a little dull. I didn't I didn't care much for it as far as the story, but overall I think it was really good as a Western. Um, definitely check it out if you've never seen it, but it's not one of my favorites. <clears throat> like I said, I gave that two stars and a heart. Okay, on the 18th I watched Hey There, It's Yogi Bear. I wanted something a little bit different. Um, I had purchased this one archive title. Um, I had never seen this. I wanted to see something animated. And this was really kind of brought me back to my childhood. I enjoyed it. Um, nothing spectacular, but overall it was a good story and a fun thing to watch. I would definitely recommend you check that out if you like animated movies. And if you grew up in the 70s and the early 80s. Okay, so the next thing I watched was on the 19th. I watched the Long Long Trailer with, with Lucille Ball and Desi Arnaz. I had never seen this one before. I gave it two stars. I gave Yogi Bear two stars and a heart. I gave this one two stars with no heart. Um, this was okay. It's not my favorite. I don't know what I was really expecting. I, I think I expected more from this. But being the fact that I had never heard of this film before until it came to Warner Archive should have been an indicator that it probably wasn't going to be something that I would care for. It was okay. I'm glad I watched it. But it wasn't spectacular. I didn't find it funny at all. And you would think that with Lucille Ball, it would be funny. Okay, on the 20th, 
I watched another Criterion released. I watched The Heiress. Um, really enjoyed this one. This has got Olivia de Havilland in it. Really great story. Um, I would 100% recommend you check this out if you don't have if you like Criterion and you don't have this in your collection. Definitely pick it up um, during the next sale. It's worth having. I really enjoyed this one. I gave it four stars and a heart, which is a really high for me. It's a really high um, grade. I don't usually give more than three three stars mostly, but I really enjoyed this story. It was really good. Okay, the next film that I watched was Wonka. Me and my wife went and saw Wonka in the theater. We really enjoyed it. Uh, didn't really know much about the film going into it. I did, of course, we knew it was based off of Willy Wonka, and we knew that Timothy Chalamet was going to be in it, but we didn't really know much more than that, and we were pleasantly surprised. It was a pretty good movie. Um, I gave it three stars and a heart. Definitely looking forward to getting that one on physical media when it comes out. I hope they have some really nice packaging. Uh, but we really enjoyed it. it. To us, it was a feel-good movie. And very glad we got to see that one in the theater. Okay, on the 22nd of December, I watched Rudy. I had never seen Rudy before, so I finally watched this. Really enjoyed it. Always heard good things about this film. I gave it three stars and a heart. Um, really good performances, a great story, uplifting, based off of actual events. And so I love the special features afterwards. So if you've seen Rudy and you haven't checked out the special features, definitely check those out. Okay, the next one that I watched on the 23rd of December was Space Cowboys. This right here was another first time watched. I really enjoyed this one. It's got Clint Eastwood, Tommy Lee Jones, Donald Sutherland, and James Garner in this. So they're older men who are um, who were in the military um, before the NASA was formed and they're having to go back to um, to retrieve something in space and it's just a really good story. I enjoyed it. Um, <clears throat> I think it's part drama, part comedy. Um, overall I think there was great performances and um, definitely recommend you check it out. I gave it three stars and a heart. On Christmas Eve, I watched um, A Christmas Story because we always try to watch this um, during the holidays. And uh, for, So we watched A Christmas Story. Of course, we love A Christmas Story. I gave this one three and a half stars and a heart, one of our favorites for the holidays. And then we also watched The Wizard of Oz um, my family came over for um, Christmas Eve, and so this was on the TV, and so we watched it. Of course, we always love The Wizard of Oz. It's one of my very all-time favorites. It gets five stars and a heart. So five stars is the most that you can give on Letterboxd, and The Wizard of Oz holds a special place in my heart, and so it gets five stars and a heart. I grew up watching that and definitely would recommend it if you have never seen it, but surely everybody's seen The Wizard of Oz. Okay, on the 25th, on Christmas Day, I watched Hush Hush Sweet Charlotte. Um, I had never seen this one before. This is one of those that I've been wanting to check out for a long time. I've had it in the, wa in the watch pile for a long time, so I finally watched it. Really enjoyed this one. Um, it's made right after um, Whatever Happened to Baby Jane. This right here came right after that. It's not a sequel to it at all, but the same director, and it's got Betty Davis in it. It also has Olivia de Havilland in it. Great special features on this release. This is a Twilight Time release, so it's really hard to come by. Um, thankfully, I had this one in the collection already. And so, How Shush Sweet Charlotte gets three stars and a heart. If you've never seen this film and you like Whatever Happened to Baby Jane, definitely check this one out. It's a great story. Okay, on the 26th of December, I went to the theater and I saw The Iron Claw. This is another one that had been getting a lot of praise. I did not watch anything prior to going to see the film. Didn't know anything about the story. I knew that it was based off of actual events. And, um, um, and I know that the main actor, I can't think of his name all of a sudden, put on all this weight and built up to make himself look more like the character that he was portraying, which he did a great job doing that. But um, overall, the movie was good. It was well made, um, but it was very depressing. Not a very good movie to watch around the holidays, I don't think. Very depressing story.
but highly recommend you check it out. Um, and I'm definitely going to pick it up whenever it comes on physical media. I gave it three stars and a heart. On the 27th of December, I watched Past Lives. This is one that it's been sitting in the watch pile for a while. It's an, it wasn't. It's. I got the A24 release and also got the Studio Canal release because of the different slipcover. Great story. I love this film. It is a. It's, it's not a romantic comedy, but it is a kind of a love story, a coming of age story. Um, I don't know, it's all kinds of different things. If you've never seen Past Lives, take time and watch it. It was, it was great. I gave it three stars and a heart. Highly recommend you check it out. On the 28th of December, my wife and I went and saw The Color Purple. So The Color Purple, the Steven Spielberg Color Purple is probably one of our favorites of all time. And so when we found out that there was going to be a musical version of The Color Purple based off of the, pro off of the Broadway show, we thought, oh, I don't know if it's going to be any good or not, but we went and saw it. We enjoyed it. We enjoyed it for what it was. There's, a, there's some differences, of course, between that and the original, um, but it's more based off of the, the musical Broadway show. The performances were great. The songs were good. Um, you know, I'm not a big fan of pure musicals, but overall, I think this was a good one, especially if you like the story. So I gave it three stars and a heart. On the 29th of December, I went to the theater again. Like I said, I got to go to the theater quite a bit. Um, I went and saw Godzilla Minus One, which I absolutely loved. Um, I know some people didn't like it at all. Some people did. So I'm one of those that really liked it. Um, I was unaware that it was going to be in subtitles, but that wasn't a very big hindrance to me at all. Um, 100% looking forward to getting that one on physical media. Really enjoyed the story. I really enjoyed seeing Godzilla as much on the screen as I've ever seen before. So very, very wonderful film. I gave it four stars and a heart. So that's a good movie. Okay, on that same day, that evening when I got home, I took time and watched A Trip to the Moon. This right here is a very short film. I want to say it was like 13 minutes maybe. But, I don't know. <clears throat> this movie is old. I forgot what year it came out. Um, but, I don't know. I didn't care much for it. But, of course, the amazing part of it is the fact that this film was done um, back in 1902. So, what they did in 1902 was spectacular for this film. Um, I can't imagine, I don't know, thinking about a film being made in 1902 is pretty amazing. Um, but you can definitely tell that it was made in 1902. It just wasn't my favorite thing to watch. Okay, on the 30th of December, I watched Mercy Road. Oh, man. This right here I, I had high hopes for, but it was absolutely... I don't know, it wasn't absolutely terrible, but I kept waiting for something to happen, and it never did. It's pretty much a one-man show overall, one character. There's different things going on in the car, but it's really hard to understand what's happening. You, basically, you can figure out what's happening, but the end was kind of weird. It, I, don't know, I don't know what was supposed to... I don't know what was happening overall. Um, I gave it one star and no heart. I didn't care much for it, but it might be one of those that I need to check out again. But if you've seen Mercy Road, you know, maybe you want to leave me a comment. Let me know what you thought about it. Okay, on the 31st, the last day of December, I did watch Saltburn. Um, that's a film that had been getting a lot of um, recognition. I wanted to see it, so I saw Saltburn. Really enjoyed the story. Um, great performances overall. Great story. I love a good thriller. Um, and this right here was excellent in my book. It got three stars and a heart. I didn't I didn't give it higher than three stars just because... Um, I don't know why I didn't. It might deserve more than three stars. But right now I gave it three stars and a heart. I definitely want to check it out again. Now, the performances were great. But the subject matter at points was kind of, um, I don't know. I don't know what to say about it. 
but I do recommend you check it out if you want to. Um, there is some parts in there that um, is probably uneasy to watch, um, but you know, check it out with caution. And when you do check it out, please leave me a comment. Let me know what you thought about it. But like I said, it got three stars and a heart. So I got to see a lot of great films during the month of December. Very thankful that I had the opportunity to see a lot in the theater. Um, but hopefully you were able to see a lot of films during December. Please leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think about the films that I watched. And also give me some suggestions of some films that you think I should check out during January. Because I really do appreciate your recommendations. If you like what you saw here today, please give it a thumbs up and share the video. If you, haven't if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I would really appreciate it if you would subscribe. If you do subscribe, please remember to hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload a new video. If you haven't found me on my social media accounts, I'm on Instagram, TikTok, and on Twitter. And if you'd like to find out what I've been watching, you can find me over on Letterboxd. I do have my links below. But thanks again for watching, and we will see you next time.